like how much this field is putting out, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, almost, almost. Alright, well today is not my day. I think I have figured out... I think we should be able to dump that one now. I think I figured this out in that uh, something's out of adjustment. You know, when Mechanic Steve and I were working on this, neither of us actually really know what we're doing. And we had it running perfectly. And we had everything set to work when there was what, whatever it was, like a quarter of a spool at the time of net wrap on there. And we had it set perfectly for a quarter spool of net wrap. A little too perfectly, perhaps. So, here we are. I've basically come to the conclusion I'm going to have to get out and screw with every single one of these bales. Unless this thing starts working as randomly and abruptly as it stopped, which would also be fine. This one I only had to mess with two or three times. All right, let's see what we got. Still a little bit of hay. This is a patch. For some reason, I didn't end up raking. Oh, wow, look at this beautiful bale. I don't know if you guys can really see the scale of that. It's, you know, significantly taller than the others. Oh, there's some serious weight in these, a lot more so than the others. All right, let's see. So we got one bale, two, three, Four, five, six. Six large bales plus the one I dumped in that other field, right? One. All right. Well, shoot. Baler's jacked up, but so is everything else, and that's why they call it farming. So, I gotta jack with that pickup before I hit the road. I'm very lucky in that I can find places like this, which even on a drought year will produce this much grass. And, uh, and again, it costs me pretty much nothing to be here. So, I really cannot complainify. And, uh, yeah, I really cannot complainify. And, uh, yeah, so this might be the end of the hay production videos. I still have to haul all this stuff, but this might be the end of the actual making hay videos this year. I'd like a third and a fourth cutting, you know? Everybody's like, oh, he's come to Texas. You know, our season's so much longer. That's true, but there's not actually enough rain. Like my family up north, they, I think last I knew they were on their third cutting and I've barely scraped two together. And uh, you know, and it's winter for half the year where they live. So, you know, what can you do? All right, um, yeah. Whatever the case, thanks for watching. At least it's infinitely more productive than last hay season. And I plan to spend some time messing with this baler and be back at it next year. Thanks for watching.